It was absolutely, totally frustrating. A new year and the same problem persists. Another vacant home fire this week. A new potential amendment to the vacant building bylaw could incentivize owners of these homes to keep them vacant for far less time. It's a good step. It's a punitive measure. Next week, the Property and Development Committee will vote on a motion that would see the owners of vacant buildings that catch fire on the hook for the costs occurred by fire crews battling the blaze. I want a tough as nails approach. We have too much blight in every single ward across the city. According to a City of Winnipeg report, vacant homeowners would be charged for fires likely caused by squatters who reside in improperly secured vacant buildings. They wouldn't be on the hook if the fire originates from unrelated arson, natural disaster, or collision from a vehicle. The charges would be $1,357 per hour for an apparatus like an aerial ladder to attend the fire, and $340 per hour for a district chief on scene. If some a pumper is there for 10 hours, you're going to be charged, you know, $13,000, $14,000. The Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service reported a total of 1,565 responses to vacant buildings from 2019 to 2021. With the suggested fees, the estimated amount that would have been available to invoice under the proposed amendments for responses in that period is $1,406,000. I think that they are very likely to pass. I do believe Council wants a tough-as-nails approach to vacant buildings. Why? We are in a housing crisis and there's no counselor, ward counselor that isn't uh, called when neighbors are upset about vacant buildings causing blight. Uh, it's just ugly. In an otherwise beautiful neighborhood and a beautiful street, it's just ugly to see a boarded up building. Housing advocate Sel Burrow says this is just the first step the city should take to eliminate the almost 700 vacant homes in the city. He wants to see the city go even further to ensure these houses get back on the market or become affordable housing. It's a quarter of a million dollars to build a new unit for a homeless person. Meanwhile, places that would take $25,000 to renovate and fix up uh, and be inner city housing for the difficulty to, to house people are burning down. In Winnipeg, Mike Albany, City News.